In June of 2020, a peculiar aircraft adorned with an array of mirrors caught the attention of observers as it soared through the expansive skies over the Mojave Desert. The shimmering mirrors on its surface reflected sunlight, creating an enigmatic spectacle. Notably, this aircraft was not alone. It was accompanied by two other aircraft, engaged in a meticulously orchestrated series of maneuvers and tests. This enigmatic vehicle, identified as the Scaled Composites Model 401, a compact jet-powered aircraft constructed with cutting-edge composite materials, possessed a remarkable 38-foot wingspan. Its inaugural flight in 2017 marked the beginning of a journey into the depths of aerospace innovation. Intriguingly, this unorthodox aircraft's design did not emerge in isolation, Instead, it revealed a direct lineage to a pioneering aerospace concept from the 1980s. This revelation has sparked numerous inquiries and debates among experts, seeking to unravel the true motivations and objectives underlying the creation of this extraordinary apparatus. The fusion of modern technology and an intriguing legacy from the past beckons us to explore the hidden realms of military aviation's mysteries. Join us in this episode as we delve into the story of this new secret stealth plane that is covered in mirrors. Scaled Composites, the American aerospace company headquartered in Mojave, California, is renowned worldwide for its unconventional designs and pioneering use of non-metal composite materials. Their portfolio includes remarkable creations like Spaceship One and the Strato Launch Megaplane, which has held the title of the world's largest aircraft by wingspan since 2019. Yet, while the Strata Launcher garnered considerable attention, scaled composites quietly embarked on the production of another groundbreaking experimental aircraft two years prior. This mysterious aircraft, known as Model 401 Sierra, took its inaugural flight in October 2017. And to this day, it remains shrouded in secrecy with scant details regarding its purpose or background. According to a press release from Scaled Composites, the development of this model took just 24 months, from the initial concept to the prototype's first flight in October 2017. A brief video on their website showcases the takeoff and landing of this small single-engine jet, featuring a single-seat cockpit under a bubble canopy and a modest wingspan of 38 feet. Constructed from composite materials, the aircraft is powered by a single Pratt & Whitney Canada JT-15D 5D engine, generating 3,045 pounds of thrust. This enables the experimental craft to remain airborne for up to three hours, reach altitudes of 30,000 feet, and achieve a speed of Mach 0.6. Nevertheless, many finer details continue to be the subject of speculation, and the identity of the project's patron remains a mystery. Scaled Composite states that the aircraft's purpose is to demonstrate advanced, low-cost manufacturing techniques and to provide aircraft for research flight services to industry partners and the United States government. In April 2018, a random discovery shed further light on the 401 aircraft, confirming the existence of two model demonstrators and providing additional clarity about this intriguing project. It was during an experimental aircraft fly-in at Mojave Air and Spaceport that Scott Lowe, an aeronautics author, stumbled upon an intriguing discovery. While inspecting a 30-year-old scaled composite aircraft known as Ares, he noticed an unexpected detail. Just beneath the label indicating a chemtrail tank, a world's greatest dad sticker caught his eye. The sticker depicted the silhouette of the aircraft alongside two other familiar plane outlines, the Model 401 demonstrator aircraft. Subsequently, a series of candid photographs taken at Mojave Air and Spaceport provided further confirmation of these intriguing rumors. In one of the images, a person working on the jet sported a prominent slogan on their shirt, Son of Ares above and Phobos Deimos below, drawing inspiration from the names of the God of War's sons, according to Greek mythology. Ares, meaning Agile Responsive Effective Support, was developed by Scaled Composites. It emerged in response to a request from the US Army for a low-cost battlefield attack aircraft. 
Serving as a full-scale proof-of-concept demonstrator, the aircraft was designed with the capability to provide low-altitude anti-tank battlefield support, coupled with impressive endurance. In the 1980s, Scaled Composites initiated the design of Ares, with the legendary aircraft designer and company founder Bert Rutan playing a pivotal role in the engineering team. This unique aircraft took flight in the subsequent decade, boasting a striking yet innovative appearance, complete with twin tail booms, canard foreplanes, and sleek, refined contours. The Ares sought to blend the capabilities of a substantial cannon with a lightweight airframe. One of the noteworthy engineering challenges it faced was the placement of the engine in the front, a position that typically led to air ingestion problems. However, innovative solutions were devised to accommodate this unconventional engine placement. The engine A was ingeniously mounted on the left side of the aircraft, allowing the airflow around the fuselage to be directed straight into the engine inlet. To ensure a smooth airflow and minimize distortion, the canard and ring act served as large turning vanes, a critical feature for maintaining performance across various angles of attack and under diverse conditions. To further optimize its design, the engine was positioned along the aircraft's centerline, straightened, and directed aft through a lengthy all-composite tailpipe. This composite tailpipe played a crucial role in blending the fan flow with the core flow, effectively reducing the aircraft's infrared signature, which was a critical feature for stealth and survivability. Arias boasted a set of primary flight controls, including the aileron, rudder and elevator, all of which were manually actuated. Unlike some complex systems, these controls were intentionally designed for redundancy. In the event of the loss of a surface or the controller for a specific surface, such as the elevator, aileron or rudder, the aircraft's agility wouldn't be compromised. This redundancy was a testament to the aircraft's robust design, ensuring safety and maneuverability even in challenging situations. For effective deceleration, the aircraft incorporated a simple yet effective hydraulic speed brake, complete with an integrated pilot system. This feature played a pivotal role in managing its speed and control, adding to its versatility. One of the defining features of Ares was its forward-swept canard, strategically positioned behind the pilot to avoid obstructing their vision. The canard's elevator featured a first-band slotted flap, enabling aggressive maneuvering, providing high lift, and setting limits on the aircraft's angle of attack. This design feature, with the canard starting at the route and progressing outboard, restricted the aircraft to approximately 15-15 degree angle of attack, a crucial parameter for maintaining control. Fuel capacity was another remarkable aspect of Ares, with an impressive 2,400 pound capacity accounting for more than a third of the aircraft's gross weight. This ample fuel was stored in an external fuel tank resembling a ring and ingeniously positioned to maintain the aircraft's center of gravity. The aircraft featured jet fuel pumps that continuously extracted fuel and directed it to an armored attitude header tank, strategically located near the engine within the fuselage. In the cockpit of the RS aircraft, the pilot can breathe easy when it comes to fuel management. This unique design incorporates the conformal external fuel concept, a brilliant solution that eliminates the need for the pilot to juggle fuel duties. The ingenious approach frees up the entire center fuselage of the Ares for other critical functions. Adapting a powerful gun to an aircraft is a challenge that often poses significant obstacles. Yet for Ares, it was all about tailoring the aircraft to accommodate this formidable firearm seamlessly. To achieve this, the entire forward fuselage of Ares was intentionally shifted three inches to the left of the centerline. This meticulous adjustment brought the gun closer to the aircraft's centerline, a vital step in ensuring precise targeting and control. But that's not all. The fuselage itself boasts a concave design, strategically shaped to not only draw the gun closer, but also to channel the blast pressure generated by the gun. This clever engineering move offsets the natural recoil loads that tend to nudge the aircraft's nose to the right when the gun fires. It's a precise dance of design and physics, all in the pursuit of maintaining control and accuracy. Now, let's talk about the gun gases. 
when the gun unleashes its firepower, it spews out gases that could potentially interfere with the engine inlet. Ares has a nifty solution for that too. The entire inlet is positioned on the left side of the aircraft, cleverly isolating it from those gun gases. This design not only ensures the engine's smooth operation, but also eliminates the risk of bird ingestion and ice ingestion, a vital consideration for many of its missions. The heart of Aris's firepower is its primary weapon, the General Electric Jiu 12U Gatling gun. This formidable piece of machinery boasts five barrels and can unleash a hail of fire at an astounding rate of up to 4,200 rounds per minute. It's a weapon that commands respect and serves as the backbone of ARES' offensive capabilities. But versatility is the name of the game, and ARES can also accommodate air-to-ground missiles or rockets on its four hardpoints, two on each side. The beauty of this all is that the hardpoints can be swiftly removed without the need for any special equipment, making the aircraft adaptable to changing mission requirements. Underneath the hood, or in this case the wings, Ares is powered by a Pratt & Whitney J58 Vive turbofan engine. This reliable powerhouse is a proven performer, well known in the business jet world, and it's now making its way into the inventory of the US Air Force, featuring on the Jayhawk T1A training aircraft. This engine also served as the predecessor to the Model 401's power plant. In the world of aviation, where precision and adaptability are paramount, ARE stands as a testament to ingenuity and meticulous engineering. Its design choices, from fuel management to gun adaptation, exemplify the dedication to crafting an aircraft that can excel in a variety of missions. However, it was never officially considered for production by the Department of Defense, though the flying machine gun demonstrated impressive performance during testing. Towards the end of the millennium, Ares was placed in storage, where it remained dormant for nearly a decade until it was refurbished to serve as a flying testbed. However, it finally emerged from its slumber, possibly destined for surrogate work on systems intended for stealthy unmanned aircraft. This venerable aircraft graced the LA County Airshow in Lancaster, California. Not long ago, a testament to its legendary status within Scaled Composite's storied history. Despite its ongoing existence, the pint-sized jet still underwent extensive modifications over the years. Now, the Model 401 has materialized from the same spirit as the Ares, with its stealthy design and tactical jet concept. However, instead of carrying a cannon, the Model 401 could be a platform for testing directed energy weapons or advanced sensors. Its medium altitude, medium endurance and low observable design could synergize these capabilities, unlocking new possibilities in warfare technology. Only 18 months after its maiden flight in April 2019, the Scaled Composites Model 401 embarked on a significant journey. It flew from the company's Mojave, California headquarters to the prestigious Naval Air Station Patuxent River in Maryland, the United States Navy's premier aerospace test bed. This cross-country flight signified that the aircraft had reached the level of maturity necessary to commence its testing phase at the esteemed base. On the day of this pivotal flight, project engineer Aaron Casebeer expressed his enthusiasm, stating that Scaled is at the forefront of experimental aircraft development and that he is fortunate enough to have a front row seat. He mentioned that they had a great flight and were looking forward to the future test program. Since that milestone, the two model aircraft have participated in a series of perplexing tests conducted in various test beds, further deepening the mystery surrounding the Sons of Ares project. In June 2020, these aircraft made their presence known as they traversed the airspace above and near the United States Navy, Naval Air Weapon Station, China Lake Range Complex, in the Mojave Desert. Accompanied by a NASA-owned F-15D Eagle, equipped with a substantial pod and a scaled composites Proteus Endurance aircraft, they embarked on separate flights. A KC-10 was also in the vicinity to provide fuel for the NASA aircraft, Notably, just a week later, one of the enigmatic Model 401 Son of Ares jets made a striking appearance, covered entirely in reflective mirror material. The aircraft in focus is likely the Model 401 registered as N401 Wanks D, with its twin counterpart registered as N401 XP. 
The majority of its exterior appears to be substantially mirrored, while dark coatings enshroud substantial portions of the remaining surfaces. There are hints of what might be primer paint or another form of coating near the canopy bow and along the leading edges of the dorsal jet air intake. The photographs don't explicitly show whether the aircraft is covered in mirrors on both sides, but the use of such materials certainly adds an extra layer of exotic flair to this already peculiar-looking plane. Experts have been racking their brains, trying to decipher the purpose behind these mirrors. One intriguing possibility behind the recent developments with the Proteus and their mysterious mirror-like coatings could be tied to laser testing, particularly within the realm of directed energy technology. The Pentagon has been delving into various directed energy projects, including those with applications in air-to-air -air engagements. Given the strategic placement of these treatments on the aircraft, it's reasonable to assume that laser testing might be the primary focus. If we look at the pod hanging beneath the Proteus during tests, it's adorned with two large dark lenses and one smaller one, which could indicate the presence of cameras essential for recording laser experiments. These cameras are fixed, facing directly to the side of the aircraft, making it plausible that they are capturing data from another aircraft. The Model 401 jets and Proteus have been flying at similar altitudes but laterally offset to varying degrees, making them ideal subjects for such tests. The pod also features a large sliding door on the bottom, a characteristic often associated with electro-optical systems. While we can't confirm whether it houses a directed energy turret, it's worth noting that the demonstrators flew alongside a NASA F-15D, carrying a pod resembling one that could contain a laser system, it's essential to clarify that the laser being used in these tests doesn't necessarily have to be a high-power system capable of inflicting damage on the target it's aimed at. In fact, a high-power laser for testing purposes might be counterproductive. The aim here could be to understand how different aircraft coatings interact with laser energy under real-world conditions. We are undoubtedly entering an era where tactical aircraft equipped with lasers for both defensive and offensive purposes are on the horizon. The US Air Force is actively pursuing its Self-Protect High Energy Laser Demonstrator or SHIELD program, and there are likely other similar efforts underway. Adversaries are also advancing their capabilities in this domain, necessitating a comprehensive approach that encompasses both development and countermeasures. When you develop a disruptive technology, it's only logical to invest in exploring countermeasures. This not only improves the system you're developing, but also refines the tactics surrounding it. The result is a more capable and resilient weapon system, as well as valuable insights into how to defend against similar threats. The quest for coatings and surface treatments that can reflect laser energy is important. This not only reduces the range at which a laser system can potentially damage an aircraft, but also increases the dwell time required for such an attack. This endeavor has clear advantages for both manned and unmanned aircraft that may face directed energy threats in the future. However, it becomes even more critical for cruise missiles and low-flying drones, which could encounter such capabilities sooner. Another intriguing angle to consider is that these tests might be linked to the evaluation of infrared sensors, potentially involving infrared search and track or IRST systems slated for imminent deployment within the Air Force and Navy. By applying various coatings, including an exceptionally effective one, they may aim to push these sensors to their limits. This approach could help uncover potential hardware flaws and software vulnerabilities that might manifest in a real-world operational context with the system. There is a notion that a mirrored aircraft presents a distinctive challenge for these IRST systems. Flying one alongside an identical, untreated counterpart could serve as a control variable for comparative testing. Remarkably, flight tracking software indicates that the two Model 401s have frequently been conducting joint flights during these tests. It's essential to underscore that these are just a couple of potential explanations. The testing of these unconventional reflective coatings, including the mirror-like covering, may be driven by entirely different motives. Later, in December 2020, the RS Jet, now a venerable 30-year-old, was even seen flying alongside its successors, the Phobos Deimos 401 models. 
Beyond the reflective metallic-like surface coating, the Aras jet sported a range of other modifications, including antennas adorning its lower fuselage and a radio direction finder antenna on its spine. These alterations, combined with the distinctive coating, suggest a connection to testing exercises associated with aircraft signatures and a clandestine sensor system. What's even more intriguing is the potential for Aeris to become a sort of aviation grandfather. In September 2021, Northrop Grumman, the owner of Scaled Composites, unveiled their latest aircraft design, the Model 437. It is an unmanned aircraft derived from the stealthy Model 401. This new aircraft is designed to operate collaboratively with manned platforms, underscoring the effectiveness of the technology developed by the Scaled Composites team. The revelation of the customer behind this aircraft holds the promise of shedding light on the technological breakthroughs at play. As the identity of the customer eventually surfaces, it is likely to provide us with a wealth of answers regarding the purpose and capabilities of the enigmatic Model 401 and its successors. The son of Ares, with its rich history and futuristic potential, is a testament to innovation, collaboration and the relentless pursuit of excellence in aerospace engineering. It carries the torch of its forebear, the Ares, and opens the door to a world of possibilities in military technology and aviation. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click on the link appearing on your screen to watch another of our interesting videos. See you there.